Okay, so first of all, I'm going to insert a text box and type 35%. Then I am going to select the text and increase the font size to 200. Then I'm going to change the font type to Arial Black and then increase the size of the text box a little bit. Now I'm going to go to Format and open up the Word Art Styles formatting bar, then change the text outline to a solid line. I'm going to make this black and 1.5 points. Then I'm going to change the text fill to a gradient fill and remove the two middle gradient stops. On the first gradient stop, I'm going to change the color to blue and change the position to 35%. Then on the second gradient stop, I'm going to change the color to white and again change the position to 35%. Now both the gradient stops are in the exact same place, so instead of getting a gradient, I get a hard line between my two colours. I want to show this as being 35% filled, but I want the blue to be on the bottom. In order to get this, I'm going to change the angle from 90 degrees to 270 degrees to flip it upside down and now the blue is on the bottom. You can also do this with icons. So I'm going to select the woman icon and insert it, then hold down shift while increasing the size of the icon. At the moment, the gradient fill is grayed out, so it can't be selected. In order to get around this, I need to convert it into a shape. That will throw up this warning message to select yes. And now the gradient fill is an option. I'm going to change this to have a solid line. And then this time change the gradient stop to be green and 60%. And then I will also change the white to be 60%. And now I have an icon which is 60% filled with the color green. This will also work with shapes. So if I select the block arrow and click and drag to draw the arrow, I can give it a black solid line and then change the gradient fill. And this time I will select orange and I will change the white this time to a lighter orange color and make this 70% and also make the darker orange 70%. Now in this case I want a vertical line rather than a horizontal line and to get this I need to change the angle again and change it to zero degrees instead and now I have a vertical line. So I can say that I have something 35% filled, or I can say that women agree with this issue 60% of the time, or that a project is in progress and is 70% complete. And this will work with text and also icons and shapes, pretty much anything in PowerPoint that you can add a gradient fill to. Okay, and that is everything.